What's up guys, Old Stuff and Fluff here, and this is Rise of Liberty, which we're going to play today because today is June 17th. This is the anniversary of the Battle of Bunker Hill, or actually Battle of Breed's Hill, as it, Battle of Breed's Hill is where it's actually fall. So, the anniversary of the Battle of Bunker Hill, so that's what we are going to be remembering today as we play Rise of Liberty, which I have never played before, so this is going to be a first time for me. And I don't know, maybe I'll mention some history stuff or not. And if you're wondering, what cause have I to talk about history of the American Revolution? Well, there it is. There I am. That's me working at Colonial Williamsburg. So there you go. Now you know something about me. Anyway, to the game. Let's play Rise of Liberty, which this is a Steam game. I bought it on one of the sales that they are always offering. I don't know. I think I paid seven bucks for it. I don't know, it just made me think of tabs, which I've never played tabs either, but I'm aware of it. So let's go on, let's go. Let's start. Oh yeah. To prevent lag, select the max number of bots that can be alive at one time. Ooh, okay. Um, well, whatever you say. Ooh, historical battles. Battle of Bunker Hill. Perfect. All right. Battle of Bunker Hill. Battle of Bunker Hill took place on June 17th, 1775 in Massachusetts, marking one of America's first losses to the British. Mm, strategically kind of a win, though. However, even though America lost this battle, <laughs> their forces brought major casualties against the enemy and gave the colonists a significant boost of courage. That's true. At the time that Battle of Bunker Hill took place, the British had about 4,000 soldiers, all of them surrounded in Boston. I don't remember how many of the Americans had. I don't think anyone really knows at that time because American colonists were just kind of siphoning in and siphoning out of the lines around Boston all the time. But at that point, the British Army had just been reinforced. So they had about 4,000 people, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I looked this up. I think they had 4,000 total soldiers in Boston at that time. When they woke up in the morning and found out that the, the Americans had fortified Breed's Hill near Charleston so that uh, the Americans had built like a really makeshift fortress. It's like called a redoubt at the top of uh, Breed's Hill and they could point cannon directly down at all the shipping around Boston. Well, that was that was the uh, the game changer. This is the critical moment for the British. If they can't get rid of, the, rid of the Americans on top of Breed's Hill, then they have to abandon Boston. They can't use Boston as a as a base of operations if we have cannon pointing directly at their shipping. So they had to attack. They sent 2,000 of their people, about half of their total force, to attack Breed's Hill in three separate attacks because the first two didn't work. At the end of the day, they had lost a thousand killed in action and wounded in action. So that's 50% of their entire fighting force was lost to uh, gunfire against the Americans. Uh, our forces at Breed's Hill, again, I don't know because people just kind of came and went all day long. It was very, very lackluster. But I do know that on the, the colonial side, they lost about 400 to 500 killed in action, wounded in action, and captured in action and the vast majority of them were lost in the final wave. So for most of the day, the Americans were sitting high and pretty, didn't lose anybody. But yeah, this was described as a Pyrrhic victory, where the British knew that if they won another, if they fought and won another battle like that, they would have to give up America anyway, because they couldn't take that many casualties. They had lost half of their entire fighting force at, at Bunker Hill, and they had lost a quarter of everybody they had in Massachusetts in the span of a couple of hours. From that moment on, the British did not venture outside of Boston again. That was that was it for them. They stayed bottled up in Boston until Washington took charge and eventually occupied uh, Dorchester, Dorster, Dooster. I'm not originally from Massachusetts. I've lived up there for a little while, but I don't think I ever got the hang of some of the phrases. I think it's I think it's Dorster Heights is what uh, Washington occupied. So. Washington occupies Dorster Heights, and once again, the British are faced with the same dilemma. If they, if they let the Americans stay on Dorster Heights, cannons pointing down at the shipping, Boston's useless to them, and they have to leave. So they either have to give up, or they have to attack a second time. And they remembered what happened at Bunker Hill. They weren't going to do it again, so they gave up. And we got Boston for the rest of the war. Haha. <laughs> All right. Enough history. Let's move on. I don't know what I'm doing. I know my score is zero. Let's see. Moving my mouse, moving my... Ooh, people! Wait. Okay. W-A-S-D and shift. 
What's going on? How do I control people? Hmm, maybe I should have picked a tutorial first. Ooh. Stony point. Yeah, yeah scores by. <gasps> They're coming, boys! Quick, man, the cannons! Ah! The British are already in the readout! Oh my gosh, get them, boys, get them! Oh, he's definitely going down there. What? What is happening? Oh, crap. I think when it says score 40 for the blue side, that actually means 40 for the red side, as in 40 blue guys have been knocked down. Have any red people been knocked down? Yeah, there's a red guy. Oh, maybe, maybe the score is just based on how long you hold this flag. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's just like a time thing. The longer you hold onto the position, the better. Well, let's see, how accurate does this look? Not very. Okay, so I'm guessing that over there is Charleston. The the readout, um, you know, considered it's tab style. The readout looks fine. I'm going to go with that. There wouldn't have been all these trees up there. Uh, Charleston, Charlestown. It's called Charlestown. Charlestown, Pen wait, was it? Yeah, Charlestown Peninsula would not have had all these trees up. They would have been hacked down a long time ago. So it would have been open field. In fact, uh, all right, this part's kind of accurate. This uh, this grass right here was actually a wheat field leading up to the side of uh, the American readout. And the wheat had not been harvested yet, even though it was in June. So the, the British had to walk through this waist-high wheat, and they couldn't tell what the ground was, so it kind of messed up their lines. Well, this is fun to watch, but I have no control over anything. Oh, here we go. All right. The British have captured the... Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. It's all based on time. Like, how much time can you keep the flag up? Are there any reinforcements coming in? Looks like... Okay, I guess this part's kind of... Correct. I mean, you would have been a... Like, from the top of the readout, you would have been able to see all the way to the beaches where uh, the British Navy was landing, the Royal Marines, and the rest of the Army. Uh, the town of Charlestown was actually on fire by the time the... Uh, the attacks actually took place because the colonists had put snipers in there to annoy all the troops that were coming ashore right over there in the center of the screen right now. So snipers in that town were shooting over there and eventually it annoyed the British enough that the British Navy opened fire on the town. So then the town caught fire and the smoke was blowing off in a different direction so at least it was not on the field of battle and survivor accounts described it as being very eerie. All right, so yeah, the, the British are definitely swarming over to... Oh, look at all my... The dead horses. Oh, the horses. All right, where's the rest of the Americans? All right, this part was right, too. Um, I think it was around midday, the general in charge on the American side, and I'm just going to use Americans as colonists here, realized that uh, his readout here at the top of Breed's Hill was very vulnerable to flank attacks on both sides. So he actually had his guys dig a little defensive line basically all the way across the peninsula down to the, uh, the water line. Now Bunker Hill was actually if I've got the there's no compass on here but Bunker Hill was actually closer to the neck like where the peninsula meets the, the mainland. It's just at the at the time I forget who screwed it up but uh, whether it was like British diary entries or something but or well, the colonist diary entry. Somebody screwed it up and just didn't know which hill they were on when the, the fighting took place. I don't see any navy. Well, now, this is actually kind of fun to watch. Yeah, go get him. Die, rebel scum. What? Who the hell took out these people? What, was this all cannon fire? <laughs> oh my gosh! It's the British fucking Rambo! Look at him! He's just wandering around by himself, surrounded by dead colonials. <laughs> yeah, that guy's been busy. I want to. I want to be able to zoom in, but I can't. Wait, what if I hit control? Does that do anything? No, that doesn't do anything. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. W A S D is the usual, and then Q and E goes up and down. And shift makes it go faster. Yeah, go get him. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, good. 
I was in the upside down there for a moment. No, no, no. Ah! All right. Oh, he's going. Rambo's going. Yeah, get him, Rambo. Oh, yeah. He's going after him. He's going to, he's going to get him with the bayonet. In real life, that's how the British eventually took the reed out. They've tried first doing a long firing line, and they got murdered doing that. So eventually they just formed a column and fixed bayonets and just ran right in. Turns out not too many of the colonists had bayonets at the time. I'm sorry, I'm going to root for Rambo on this. Oh, Rambo! <laughs> oh, well. All right, boys. It's down to you now. You are on the actual Bunker Hill. What do you do? I kill me so Hey, 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 hey. What, what the... Um, officers, is anybody going to give this soldier some guidance? Look at me, he's just marching against a tree, the poor dumb fuck. There's a whole column over there. Don't make Captain America do all the work himself. Somebody help him. Why is there only one guy firing at the column of British? Luckily, he's holding him off, though. Ugh. Oh, finally, somebody decided to join in. Whoa! Who did that? Who did that? All right, you got this, Captain America. Don't you... Are they carrying spears? They are. They're carrying spears. <laughs> oh, oh, he is determined. No! <laughs> you filthy lobster backs. <laughs> These lancers carrying their spears. They look like the. They, they, they look like the British victory. Oh, a thousand. Okay. Now, that was fun, but I have some questions. Can I tell these people what to do? Is that an option? Speaking of which. Is there, is there a menu? What the fuck's going on? For the record, I'm a big fan of the British. British and the Americans have been working together like brothers for a long time now. I like the British. Yeah, come on, man. Cheerio, chip chip, spot the tea. And traditional other British idioms. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. Boom. No, no, don't go down. All right, deploy. How do I reload? Okay, I aim with the right button. Boom! <laughs> How do I reload? Reload! Oh, reload is R. Ah! This really would work better if I had a few hundred friends standing beside me. Weapon select. What other weapons do I have? 24 kills to unlock. 209... 249 kills for a Ferguson rifle! Oh, I want that. I want that. For those of you who don't know, the Ferguson rifle was an early attempt at a repeating rifle. It was developed by a Scottish uh, major in the British Army. His name was Ferguson, hence Ferguson Rifle. And he was eventually killed in the American Revolution at the Battle of King's Mountain, which occurred in my home state. It's one of the few times in the American Revolution where the British regulars actually got surrounded by colonial irregulars who were hiding behind trees and shooting at stuff. It's big propaganda on the American side that that's what we did through the entire American Revolution, but there's only two real battles that I recall that we did it in. And that was one of them. And all I need to do is kill 249 Brits to unlock it. So right now I'm stuck with a smoothbore. Used by line infantry and militia, capable of firing six rounds per minute and is accurate up to 40 meters. Yeah, that sounds right. Five rounds a minute was actually really, really good for loading that type of rifle. Or musket, I'm sorry. The difference between a musket and a rifle is the rifle has, for those of you who don't know, the rifle has the little grooves inside the barrel. It makes the bullet spin when it comes out. That way it's really, really accurate. All right, I'm going. Boom! Ah, I'm down! Man, I keep dying before I can even reload. No, 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 don't hurt me! No! Ow! <laughs> Fuck you. Can I restart the battle? Alright, once again, historical battles. We are going back to the Battle of Bunker Hill. Alright, 
Deploy, damn you, deploy. Where the fuck am I? Oh, shit. All right. Where, where's my peeps at? Oh, there we go. All right. I'm going to fall in with these guys. Alt. Alt was supposed to make me march. It didn't do jack shit. Ah! Did you guys see that shit? Oh, you're gonna die. Maybe I can interact with these cannons. Let me interact with the cannons. I'm gonna sink me a navy vessel. Yes. No, I can't really aim though. Wait. I know. Wait. Reload. Reload, damn you. Wait. Four? Five? Six? Oh shit. What'd I do? Get him, boys! I'm on this. I'm on this. Alright, remember, X is Malie. And I actually have a bayonet. All oh, those Brits are going down. Those Brits are going down. How dare they? Them and their Magna Carta are forming a basis for our Constitution. For a more interesting take on the, uh, the foundations of the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution, please read The Anti-Machiavellian by Frederick the Great. Reload, damn it! Get me some red coats. <gasps> My boys! What the? Who did that? Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Ah! Quick! Interact! It oh, there we go. <laughs> Quick! Do it again! Do it again! Shit, 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 shit. Ah! Where are they? Where are they? Ah! <laughs> We're gonna mortar this bitch. Boom! <laughs> Got you, you little screw. Ah! Hey! How about you watch out with a friendly fire? Oh, whoops. <laughs> I'm not reloaded. Oh, I see. There's a little reloading thing down at the bottom, I think. Are there bad guys over there? They're bad guys over there, aren't there? Alright, boys. We're almost at. Hey! Who said you guys could come in here? And who was that? Ah! What the fuck? There's Lancers! Um, I'm, 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 I'm going back to bed, all right? Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Fucker. Wow, these smooth bores are really accurate. Like, surprise. There we go. Reload. Oh, shit. Quick, 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 quick. No, no. <laughs> I'm I'm a ling! I'm a ling! <laughs> no! No stop! Oh, fuck. oh, I'm coming to get you. Boom! I <laughs> gotcha. Alright, reload. Oh shit, I started reloading too soon. Yes, American cavalry! Go get him, boys! Don't worry, I got this guy. Boom! <laughs> American rifleman. Yep, we know how to use the sights. Alright, this is for America. I say, can you see? I say, oh, can I mount these horses? Oh my gosh, I can! Oh, I'm a dragoon now. Wait, what's going on? Ah! Ah! I'm running backwards! No, horsey! No! <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm a freaking dragoon. No, go that way. Go that way, horsey. <laughs> I'm going to call you Ted. You see, you feel like a Ted to me. Oh, I'm dead. Flip. Deploy. We're almost there, boys. We are going to win this battle. We are going to change history. We're going to have the British leave Boston extra early. And, and then we're going to take over Canada because, like, the actual invasion of Canada failed. But it's going to work this time for realsies. We're gonna make Canada the 14th state. Oh, oh shit. Oh, I'm down. Ah. Wait, am I already wounded? It's kind of difficult to get that X button. I wonder if you can change the controls. I'm gonna hide behind a tree. I don't wanna shoot at that guy. There we go. Uh oh. Shit, they're everywhere. Ah! I've been wounded! You assholes actually shoot a cannon at me. <laughs> I 
I'm actually I'm gonna hide behind trees and shoot at the Brits. <laughs> oh, whoa! Oh, that guy came out of nowhere, didn't he? I'm so glad I have infinite ammo. Ah! I think I saw him aiming at me too. He's way over there on the side. All right. Where is everybody? Are you running away? We will have no cowardice here. What are you guys shooting at? Seriously. What the hell are you shooting at? Oh, it's the British Rambo. I see him. I see him. We're just we're just going to go him up and stab this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just a little poke. It's fine. Oh, you ass. Shit, I missed. I was aiming at his penis and I missed. It was just too fucking small, man. I couldn't see it. Boom. <laughs> I'm flanking him. I'm flanking him. Oh, shit. I think somebody's seen me. Oh. We need a way to dive on the ground. Because this whole, uh... I'm up. He sees me. But I can't get down. There was no key to get down. It looks like I'm carrying a marshmallow. <laughs> my, little, my little musket ball cartridge. Looks like I'm... It looks like a marshmallow. Ow! Son of a bitch! <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> man, he's... Oh, man, he's killing me. No! Where are my people? <gasps> oh, my gosh! <laughs> we got nobody. <laughs> this is bullshit. What's going on? Why can't I see? What? Why can't I move? Deploy, damn you. Deploy. Gotcha. Ah. Man, I do not last long. They keep spawning me in, surrounded by everybody. Just run, man. Just run. Ah, they're everywhere. Oh, I'm down. I couldn't even run up and stab them. See, this is the part I was talking about during the day when the Americans started retreating, and that was when most of the casualties occurred. Oh! I have enough time to shoot once, and then I'm down again. Oh, shit. No, no! Oh! So, am I just stuck doing this forever now? <laughs> I think I am. Okay, um, let's spectate then. We, we shall spectate. All right, I believe it was F. Wait, was it F? I already forgot. What what was the button that make, makes me spectate? All right, tell you what. We're, I'm going to move over here, and we're going to see if we can just spawn in right next to this flag. Nope. Oh, come on. Fuck. Damn it. I think we lost by even more that time than I did the first time. I'll have to check the replay. Okay, well, this was fun. I kind of want to do it again, but uh, I think that's enough for now. So we're going to call it June 17th, Battle of Bunker Hill uh, on this day in 1775. is about a month before George Washington took charge of the Continental Army. Or maybe a couple weeks. Maybe it's a couple weeks, yeah. I think it was a couple weeks. June 17th. 1775, I don't remember exactly when George Washington showed up. It might have been July 1st, so a couple weeks. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Old Stuff and Fluff, signing off.